Caddis Maximus here. This time it's another flashlight review uh, because I do like to collect flashlights. This is 39 T1. Uh, these call these little pocket rocket. This is a Cree XHP 50 LED tempered glass lens, orange peel reflector, USB rechargeable. But this thing is small. It's like the size of my finger. Maybe another way to put the size is we have a 26 650 cell. And this is literally, the exterior dimensions are essentially the same as a 26650 cell. It's actually lighter weight. This thing only weighs 45 grams. And comes with quite a bit of stuff. Nicely packaged. Little bag. A little bit expensive, I will say that. I think it's retailing for like, uh, anything you find it online for around the $35 mark. Comes with a lot of stuff. Instruction manual. Usual do not eat. It does come with the lanyard. A little USB cable and a belt clip. I should mention that it does have a pretty powerful magnet in it, which I do like. As a matter of fact, I mean, it can pick up this battery no problem. And because it's only 45 grams, it actually stick and stay to where you want it to. And I'll have to admit, I do like this little flashlight more than uh, some of the others. Just because it is a little pocket rocket. As far as something that's lightweight that you can fit into your pocket and it's just the size of your thumb i mean this you could stuff into a watch pocket really not too bad i will mention because i've been trying to mention this in more flashlight videos is that even though they do try to deburr these little lanyard holes they still will chew through the little cord so it's always recommended that you uh get a little bit of a, a little tiny keychain ring to prevent the lanyard cord from wearing out one thing I should mention is they should have put just a little bit more relief there because when you do have a keychain ring, key ring on there, uh, it does kind of make it bulky and wants to catch on things. But it's better that they had the option than to not have the option. But they could have improved that engineering just a little bit. Besides that, you have the obligatory extra O rings, uh, two extra O rings because it only has one, two extra USB covers. You'll need them. It is a micro USB. They could probably use it to updating this one. Pretty easy to open. The problem is, is when you uh, put this in and out of a pocket, this little flap is really going to want to get caught up and is eventually going to get torn. And I mean, I guess it's not too bad, but I know overuse, this will definitely tear off and you'll replace it. And you'll have to <laughs> use one of the spares until it falls off. I don't know exactly on a light this small how they could have really improved that. One thing I noticed, and I heard some comments, is the way that this micro USB is deep, kind of deeply set in there, that sometimes some cables won't uh, engage it. The cable that comes with it will. Dimension 1500 lumens max, but it uh, this has like the full electronics that I wish every through night had um, in full control. I should say control software or programming, but uh, 1500 lumens on turbo. It only lasts like three minutes before it goes into its temperature regulation, and then it'll drop. Uh, and then it will drop down, compensating. It does include once again a belt clip, which I kind of like because it's a dual. It's a dual direction one. Fits on this little part here, so I'll end up using this more than I'd use the lanyard. Definitely fits on strong. Don't have to worry about this thing, you know, giving you any trouble. I don't know which direction I really want to use it. And about the battery cover, I suppose if you have this clip and it's right in this position here, then it'll help kind of block this. So maybe the cover will last longer if you use this clip. Once again, since it's only, actually the clip is pretty strong. This will hold onto the bill of your hat. So you can put this and use it as a headlamp if you wear hats. And being only, I think it's a little bit more, it's probably like 50 grams with this little clip. Maybe that clip isn't 5 grams, but you it's light enough to put on the bill of a cap, so I think that's kind of cool. And real fast here, I did want to actually just put on that belt clip, which is actually a bear to take off. But literally, this will actually fit inside the space that takes a 26650 really is pretty small. Let's go check out the brightness. It does have an electronic lockout. It does just glow red when you have it locked out. So you just press and hold it for like three seconds. 
then it turns on normally. It does have a firefly mode, and then we have a low, which is actually not too bad. It's variable, so if you press and hold once it's turned on, it'll go all the way up to its maximum variable brightness. This is apparently 700 lumens, and it'll last just about an hour at this brightness. Really not too bad. It's pretty darn bright, that's for sure. And then if you press and hold, it'll go all the way back down. And then we do have turbo mode, which is really pretty darn surprising. I mean, for this tiny little light, that's a lot of lumens. And so even uh, at its maximum continuous lumens, it's still not too bad. But once again, the turbo mode is kind of like a uh, show off mode or if you really just want a whole bunch of light So not a lot else to say actually I do want to show this quickly the inside It doesn't take very long to charge because it has a really small capacity battery in it The belt clip is recessed so it still will stick to a flat surface. I for was or almost forgot to mention that But here it is This tiny and it actually is a protected cell Surprisingly enough, 1100 milliamp hours. I think I was kind of curious. It's an 18350, so you'd think it would be like a 1500 milliamp hour, but there may be something with the protection circuit. And when you're getting into cells like this, when you have protected and unprotected cells, it's just if they have a circuit to protect the battery. So even if you leave the light on or use the battery in another device, which will just try to drain it till it's dead. It prevents your battery from getting ruined. It also prevents a fire if it gets overcharged or if the charging circuit fails. But on the 18650s, the more normal height ones, the ones that are protected are actually a little bit taller than standard ones. But when it comes to the 18350s, which is 18 millimeter by 35 millimeter long type, a zero means that it's a circular cell. They may have to really stay in that 35 millimeter link so when they put in the protection circuit they actually have to shrink the internal battery pretty neat the other thing i wanted to show is because it's so compact they actually had to flip their control board over so this is an integrated charger and controller but what's surprising is i mean there's a what is that that's it's like a 14 pin chip over there but it's surprising there's quite a bit of circuitry on a board for a flashlight Anyway, not a whole lot else to say. I just think it's kind of a neat flashlight. I do wish it was just a bit cheaper, to tell you the truth. But as far as actual everyday carry, just a little flashlight you can toss in your car or actually have it in your pocket and not be so bulky, purse, whatever, uh, this is a viable option. I mean, the variable output's great because you can get just as much, the right amount of light or exactly the amount that you want. The fact that it does glow red and blue for charging. Integrated charger so you don't have to deal with taking it apart. Glass lens that won't scratch. Uh, it's pretty cool for a small flashlight. Even though, once again, the turbo mode is... I mean, it only lasts just a few minutes on turbo. Even in its high mode on the variable, at half that, 700 lumens, is still pretty decent for such a tiny light. And being able to get an hour of life... That's not too bad because it's such it's only an 1100 milliamp hour battery the battery doesn't take very long to charge at all and then of course having the magnet in the end is a nice little bonus anyway that's my take on the through night t1 oh as far as locking it i forgot to mention you just press and hold to get it in its firefly and you press and hold again and then that locks it out and that's actually absolutely critical on a light that you're really going to have beating around your pocket is being able to lock it out so it doesn't actually <laughs> die in your pocket anyway i really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing if you haven't subscribed please do till next time caddis maximus out